Hi YouTube, how is everybody? Today is, I'm gonna get the day right today because it is Thursday. It is Thursday, the 14th of September, 2017. My name's Jan Silver and I've been video logging my journey to and beyond the gastric bypass, which I'm really bored of saying. I'm sure you guys are really bored of hearing and sorry, not sorry. I just feel that I should introduce myself each time because I know you get new followers all the time and if somebody hasn't gone back to watch the beginning of my journey then they might think well who's this woman what's she talking about what a load of rubbish so sorry for those of you who've just had to hear that a million zillion times and yeah anyway um, Thursday the 14th of September I'm off on holiday tomorrow super excited I can't wait um, Harry's back tonight. Harry's actually been away on business for a couple of nights, so he's back tonight and the packing really commences then. Um, we need to kind of work out, you know, it's quite difficult, isn't it? We've, we've only ever really done a weekend in our motorhome, so to go away for two weeks, we don't know how much food we should take. Obviously, we're going to do some eating out. Obviously, I will be going to the French supermarkets, um, but it's difficult to gauge... We're probably going to end up taking way too much and won't use most of it. But I suppose if it's there, that's better than not having it, isn't it? And to make sure that we've got, you know, UHT milk so I can have a coffee. Um, and, and just to make sure you've got all the essentials, really. So that's what Harry and I are going to be doing this evening is sitting down and writing a list. And then I'll go and do the shopping tomorrow morning before we actually head off. I think we're heading off about, about lunchtime. He's got a couple of calls to do in the morning. So, yeah, that's all super exciting. Um, I think I told you this week that I had gained, I think it was just over a pound, about a pound, let's have to say a pound and a half for argument's sake, um, which obviously not happy about, but like I said, you know, I, trying to explain my journey and everybody's journey is different and unique. I say this many, many times, but I didn't have this gastric bypass to be on a diet for the rest of my life. I had a gastric bypass to reduce the amount that I ate, as in um, my dinner portions were massive. I ate like an elephant, you know, and that's, I'm not joking there, I'm actually being deadly serious. You know, my husband would have probably half of what I ate. And so, so for me, <laughs> for me, that's what my journey predominantly was about to be able to you know they've taken my stomach away and given me a small pouch so that is working i've lost over five stones so if my weight is going to fluctuate here and there I, i'm you know obviously if it's like it and i stall for a few weeks then i will reconsider my life choices as i talked about on saturday with some of the girls you know i think sasha had said to me I'm worried about you drinking. I, I, maybe not those words, but it was something along the lines because I've had a gastric bypass and I drink wine. But, you know, ag again, that's <laughs> my journey isn't about me depriving myself and it's about me reducing what I ate. So everybody's got their vices, I guess, um, some more than most. And I won't apologise for having a drink on a Friday and a Saturday night and sometimes on a Wednesday, you know, because that's me and I don't ever drink and drive. I wouldn't ever put any harm in, it, you know, anybody in any harm's way. I like a drink and that's me. So, but like I said, if for instance that, you know, I'm about to go on holiday and like I said yesterday, I know that I'm probably going to drink more than I would at home because we're in holiday mode, right? Who doesn't? And if then I come back and I've gained a bit more weight, then I really have to look at my life choices in that respect and get back on track. So that's where my head's at at the moment with it. Um, I'm not going to deprive myself. I am going to have a good time. You know, I talked to my daughter about this yesterday, my concerns about going away and being out of my usual routine. And she's like, mum, you could go away and stick to everything and get hit by a bus tomorrow and what's the point you haven't enjoyed yourself and she is right you know we all deserve a break we all deserve a holiday so i'm probably just making excuses already for my poor choices oh well what the hell you know it's like i can't be anything but honest because that is me and and i think another thing i was going to talk about if this makes any sense at all to those of you that have had uh, surgery 
I'm just waiting for my, I'm having some tomato soup. It's actually really early. I've got a, a meeting from 12 till two with my um, coordinator from my volunteer group today. So, well, there's a group of us that go, we're befrienders for Sue Rider. So anyway, it's, it's from 12 till two. So I always feel right, I should eat beforehand and then I won't be tempted to eat the biscuits. So I'm gonna have a little cup of tomato soup before I go and it's only about 20 past 11 now. So don't fancy it, but hey ho. What was I saying? Oh, portion sizes. So yeah. And at first when I came out of surgery, you know, I, I, I did like everybody else. I had a, um, a tea side, you know, a side plate. That would be my amount because your amounts you can eat are so small. But eventually I'm, I'm six months out. Actually, I think yesterday might've been my surgery anniversary. Six months, 15th of March, 15th of September. Oh no, tomorrow's 15th of September. God, when will I get the days and months and d d numbers right? Never, actually never. They just completely ignore that. Anyway, back to the plate sizes. Initially, I had a side plate and I would give myself a lot less than, than everybody else on the, on the, you know, that I was dishing up. And nowadays, it's really weird. I don't know if anybody else feels like this, but I don't want a side plate. Mm -mm. I can't eat the amount that my husband eats, even if I tried, I couldn't. And I've never yet pushed it to a point where I feel ill because I've eaten too much. I might have eaten too quickly or what I've eaten hasn't agreed with me, but I certainly haven't eaten till my pouch is, is, you know, really strained. But I have found that I don't want a side plate anymore. I want a normal plate. I still don't dish up the same amount that I give to my husband. I... But it's all about, it's like a, a psychological mind fuck really, because it's all about for me not feeling deprived. And if I was to give myself a small plate, I feel like, oh, well, the choice has been taken away from me. But for me to have a, a normal size plate and then choose not to eat all of that dinner is better for me psychologically than giving me a plate that I'm gonna finish. Did you follow? Does that make any sense at all? I'm not sure if I'm the only one who does that or or what. And I, you know, anybody that's been where I am, you will also know that one day your restriction can be super, super high. And the next day, because you can eat hardly anything, like it wouldn't even feed a mouse. And then suddenly the next day you've got an appetite of an elephant again okay not quite the elephant you were pre-surgery but quite a substantial amount so yeah it's an interesting journey that's for sure it's definitely not dull you know you don't really know how you're going to feel every day where food's concerned and today um, I went to the gym I really pushed myself to go to the gym this morning did not fancy it at all I could have just quite merrily curled up back in bed and and gone back to sleep but I didn't. And do you know why I didn't? I'm going to thank Dawn for that, Maggie Dex, because watching her Instagram last night, she'd done a full day's work after 10 days off and still managed to get her ass to the gym and she really didn't want to do that. So I woke up thinking of that, Dawn. I woke up thinking, well, if you can do it after you've done a full day's graft and get, get your ass to the gym and work out, I can certainly fall out of bloody bed and go. So thank you, you know, and, and again, I know I talk about it quite a lot, but this journey is all about supporting each other, motivating each other and inspiring each other. And I am certainly inspired by many, many of you. And especially, even like that, Dawn, you probably don't even realize that that little video just made me go, yeah, okay, I need to get out of bed and do the same thing because, if you can do it, why can't I? So thank you for that. Gary Grapefruits is going to do a walk for diabetes, which has chuffed me no end. Um, I might try and find out how to put the link on here, because if anybody wants to donate, he's doing a 10 mile walk in London over all the bridges, and it's in aid of diabetes, obviously close to my heart because how he's type one diabetic. So any help in that respect to find out cures and causes and blah 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 then it's it's fantastic isn't it um so a little shout out to gary who's doing that he's doing fantastic he did another walk the other day and yeah he's really really smashing the fitness so well done you anyway guys i've nearly waffled for 10 minutes i'm sure that my mm, my lovely tomato soup is dry dry oh, cool enough for me to drink 
This is me. This is my truth. This is my scatty, crazy, screwed up world where I don't even know what I'm saying half the time, let alone you guys. And I haven't got a clue why people follow me, but I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very, very much. If you haven't already, please click like and subscribe. And I will no doubt talk to you tomorrow, maybe in the morning before we head off or maybe from... Um, dinner tomorrow night with Rainy. Anyway guys, take care. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Bye.